This next performer coming to the stage right now, uh, CMF Comedy Story, CMF Flappers. Glad to have him here at Federal Bar once again. Please put your hands together, Mr. Tom Brady, everybody! Uh, whoa, I'll put some personal to shirt on here. You might want to sit back because, oddly enough, I'm also a homosexual and a recovering alcoholic, so it's easy to catch it. Sure. That's right. Turn tamper, butt powder, fudge packer, juice cake, tequila. I got them all. <laughs> that, you know, I, I don't really feel like I fit into that whole game thing, you know? My birthday girl's doing this again. I can accept it, don't you, honey? Only require them. You like the penis, right? But now they want you to have, you know, Cher's greatest hits the entire collection. You're like a pair of those fancy Dolce Gabbana loafers. Now I get it, I could buy them. But you know, they also want you to have one of those, those smooth, hairless asses. <laughs> I don't have that. I think the rest of you guys have that problem. Anyone? I know there's some furry asses out there somewhere. There's not the lady in back raising our I mean, what do I do with that? I'm just, I, I, it's like I share DNA with Chewbacca. Do I shave that? Do I wax it? Do I braid it and beat it? It's like I gotta take a machete to this shit. So if, I, if I wax my shit, I need a goddamn blood transfusion afterwards. <laughs> You will not see me at that gay pride parade wearing a pair of those black leather assless chaps. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like two goddamn chia pets walking down the same mile the hall. I'm telling you, I got more than a couple dozen curly ones crowning that old thing starfish. <laughs> so they get me sober, I'm not gonna lie. I had some mood swings. We all fell right between fucking pissed and very fucking pissed. <laughs> Papa missed his tequila. And about a month in, I called my sponsor and I said, oh, man, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. I, I prayed, I meditated, I've gone to meetings, and all I want to do is find a Patron distillery and dive headfirst into a vat of tequila. And he's all chill because he's been sober like 10 years, right? He said, well, I don't know, man, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you should, uh, I don't know, uh, have a bowl of ice cream or, or jack off or something. Really? Really, like, that's what you got for me? <laughs> like I had already done both of those things. I mean, for Christ's sake, at one point, I think I was jacking off the spoon and eating the ice cream off my dick. <laughs> and eventually, it was just this, I got through like five pints of hogging eyes of vanilla bean, and I made the ball damn crying more than you and I could count. <laughs> Flurry of creamy white shit flying everywhere. <laughs> Things are better now, though. In fact, eating ice cream off the smoke. <laughs> Most of the time. Don't judge, I'm single. Yeah, I don't date much, but it seems when I do, uh, it's younger guys. I don't know what the deal is. It's like I'm on vintage arm candy. Or they're, they're looking for a sugar daddy, and they're not even going to get a fucking pack of sweet milk for me. Now, my last boyfriend, he was 24, and I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, shut up, I know, I've heard it before, I don't want to hear it again, he's young enough to be my son. But the point is, people, he's not my fucking son. He might be your son or someone else's son, but he ain't my son. Apparently the guy's got daddy issues, so come to pop. You know, a friend of mine uh, asked him with the age difference what it was we, we talked about. You can't talk with your mouth full, right, honey? You got it. You got it. But you know, eventually, you know, being a millennial, he had his phone in his hand more than the dick. So we had to move on from that. Uh, you know, I get older. Nobody likes getting older, right? So you still try, try to be kind of hip, you know? And uh, I heard a term the other day that I never heard of before. Maybe some of you know it. I feel like you do. Um, it's called pegging. Does anybody know what pegging is? No? I heard you guys over here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Would you like to share with us? Comment before me. Sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's where a woman puts on a strap on yellow and bangs her guy. I know, birthday girl is in shock. Look at that. Yeah, I didn't either. What's up with that? You think my people are fucked up, but these people use a real dick. And I didn't know it happened so often that we had to give it its own name. Hey, right? Sounds sort of like some salty old pirate captain, right? With an eye patch and a peg leg. He's all like, I mean, he went to say we heist the mainsail and we'll have us a couple of pints of cod and I'll take you into me coming and I'll give you a fine pay. And he gives you a big old wink with a one good eye, right? Shaking that leg, and you and I know there's more than a spot to your red old pig leg. Why do you think they walk the plank all the time? So yeah, I'm single and gives me a lot of free time. Free time to think of fucked up shit like. Like, if I could, what Disney character would I pay? Anyone else? <laughs> no? Fuck you. <laughs> well, I'll tell you who I would. You, you may think you're going to be Mickey Mouse with that tight little mouse butt, but no, you're wrong. Oh, you look shocked. What is with this bullshit? <laughs> she gets it all, but she's always surprised. Oh, my goodness, no. <laughs> you wouldn't be Mickey Mouse, and you might think it would be Aladdin with uh, those sexy hair and pants and the magic carpet and those pony toe shoes. It's a little too gay, right? <laughs> you know what I'd choose? I'd tell you who I'd choose. I'd choose Donald fucking Duck. You want to know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because Donald is the only Disney character who wears no pants. That's right, folks. Bums up, clean with the deal, and ready to be in. Spit roast. Yeah. And how do I know he's gay? Come on, how do I know he's gay? What about that little sailor hat he always wears cocked in a jaunty angle? Gay. <laughs> how about that sexy little blue jacket with the shiny brass buttons? It's double breasted for Christ's sake. Gay, gay. <laughs> what about when he shakes that little duck's ass? <laughs> gay, 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 gay. He's all busy shaking those tail feathers like a Singapore whore on Saturday night. <laughs> so you get to the end of that day and you're looking for a little action. A little nucky and there's no seduction going on, there's a negotiation. Let's face it, that little duck slut, he's already got the pants off. So if he's looking to get those tail feathers ruffled, I'll tell you this right now. I am just the guy to do it. So I got folks thinking we're terrific. <laughs>